Um, I, I hope that uh, Adari can hear my voice. Can you hear me? OK, good. Um, what did he say is local names? So if you've given him a local name, he also deserves one. <laughs> so, what? Yeah, what? What? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, so. Chairman, the Chairman of the Referees Committee, my Greater Accra Minister, Executives of RAG, our physical and technical instructors, my proud referees, good afternoon. Yeah. I will start my speech by respectfully asking our RAC chairman to allow all our ex-referees here present, from referee Atifu to Seja, to be upstanding, please. Hey, referee Achacha. I, did, I didn't see you. OK. I'm sure you're wondering why I've asked them in all humility to be upstanding. The men from referee Achacha to George are the reason why all of you are here. <laughs> from referee Achacha through George were the people who made Ghana proud. They are the people who made Ghana proud in referee. They are the people who took our dear country to the world. And they are the people who ensured that the ethics of our sport was respected by everybody, not only in Ghana, but across our borders. My chairman of RAG, on behalf of the Executive Council, I want to say thank you from referee Atacha to George, all of you. I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for all the years of sacrifices, the years that you had to travel on our bad roads across the seas. You laid down your lives for a sport called football. The sport that gives life to all of us. The sport that gives happiness, not only to us, but to the millions of people who may be lying in the hospitals, who have no hope, but who get hope when they hear that their club is doing well, their favorite player is doing well. You are the reason. Midamasi. They deserve a standing ovation. Please, let's go. should be an inspiration to each one of you here. That when you do well, not only human beings will remember you, but posterity will also remember you. And there is value in posterity remembering you. Generations unborn will come back and say, 
Yes, he was here. He rose up from the grass and became a FIFA referee. He officiated at the World Cup. He was the best referee at the World Cup. This is posterity. Last season, can we see? We had an amazing football season. A season that gave us everything. The good, the bad. A season that gave us everything. Not only on the pitch, by way of our players, but also from officiating. And I'm very proud to say that you guys did very well. Forget about people who try to interpret the law they don't know. At times, I also behave same. I pretend I know. But believe me, I only know Law 19. <laughs> Last year, we had some amazing performances from some of you. We had a few of you who didn't do well. I must be very honest. But that's why we are here. And I said from day one in our tenure that capacity building will be key in my administration. And you are living testimony to what capacity building is. <laughs> from coaches to administrators to referees to instructors, both fiscal and technical, everybody is having a turn to improve. And I've said that we only stop learning when the Almighty God takes us away. Even in the very last hour of our point of departure from earth, we will learn. We will learn to say, I'm sorry, maybe to somebody you may have erred to or erred against. And in saying this, let me thank our fiscal and technical instructors for all the hard work you've been putting in right from October 25 when we came into office up to today. Can you see Alex Kote? I don't allow him to sleep. If you understand the word pressure. <laughs> Because clearly, I'm not the leader who is absent. I'm always involved. I'm always involved, and he knows about this. I say to everybody that we all have one vision, a vision to excel in our niche part of the football ecosystem. But we all have different ways of arriving at our vision. So. You may not agree with me on how I want to arrive. I may not necessarily agree with you on how you want to arrive. But ultimately, I expect all of us to arrive. So there are some of you who don't understand and don't agree with what we do. Your rack chairman is here. He always called, President, this is me. I don't agree with you. I agree, we will talk and discuss, and then we will leave it. It's only because we are human. But all of us believe in the vision. The vision to excel. The vision to take refereeing to an international level. The vision to produce the very best performance when we speak about refereeing on the African continent. It's the vision. It's the end goal. So we may differ on how we want to arrive at the destination. But eventually, I want all of us to believe in the vision. Let's have our disagreement on how we want to arrive. It's okay, because we are human. But at the end, all of you here must believe in my vision. That's why we belong to this family. It's my vision that is carrying all of us. And all of us here must buy into the vision. Otherwise, sorry, you don't belong to the family. My vision is for you to excel. 
If your vision is not to excel, you don't belong here. It's simple. It's simple. Won't you ask you? Won't you ask you? Do you understand what I'm saying? If you, if you don't understand, you would understand. Yes. Change is a difficult process. Human beings are adamant to change. Human beings want to keep to, to their way of life. But when the change process starts, you have to endure it to the end of the tenor. That's the truth of life. You may disagree, but believe me, it is that time that that change process is taking place. Otherwise, Abaya Ashibu. That's what the chairman said. Okay, so I digress a bit. I want to thank you all for your wonderful, wonderful performances last year, last season. Most of you did well. Most of you comported yourselves well. I would encourage all of you to stay in that line. I would encourage all of you to be for each other. I would encourage all of you to support each other. There are moments in the game situation that things may not be going well for you. Maybe as a center man or as a line. But when you get the support of your colleagues, you will get it right. Is that not correct? Yes. It is correct. Teamwork. I love that. Teamwork. Teamwork. A lot of you stayed in the line. And again, I would encourage all of you to be in the line. Because when you go out of the line, unfortunately, you'll be out of the family. Unfortunately. Because we want the very best. Only the best. All of us know what, what, what went with refereeing in Ghana. We all know. We all know the turbulent moments. Refereeing. Or officiating went through and all of us have the responsibility to bring Ghana back to where we deserve I was just telling Akwesi that last stars played against Zimbabwe in Harare and the referee was top I'm sure you saw the game we played against Zimbabwe in Cape Coast in my opinion the referee was shizy was not good enough and I'll say it. That's me. I don't know all the rules, the laws, but I know, I know, I know 18. <laughs> this time, 18. <laughs> because, for example, I don't see how the referee should disallow the goal scored by Ghana. I don't, I don't see which law. I don't know. Definitely not 18. Because 18 will tell you this is a good goal. Take it. Common sense. But I want all of you to behave and perform like the referee who officiated in the game in Harare. Top referee. I don't know him. I've never spoken to him. But I saw the game. And I'm no idiot. I'm not. So we started this journey, Akwesi, to invest in refereeing in our country, to invest in our offices. And like you already know, from October 25 to date, we've not deviated from our strategy to offer training to our officials, to roll out policies that will improve their well-being and to ensure that they are protected at game centers. Refereeing is one of the key reasons why club licensing has been at the core of whatever we are doing. And you, you can feel it this year. Because we want to make sure that you are comfortable when you go to games. The safe zone is mandatory for all clubs to provide. But we want to ensure that you are safe, you have a clear mind, and you can go on the pitch without being intimidated and to be able to perform.
We started last year with interventions that went to help your profession. Like he said, we invested in the communication gadgets. And I remember my chat with him, asking him which of the gadgets we should even go for. 1 a.m., I'll be on the line with him. And I can tell you that the gadgets have helped the job that you performed for us. <laughs> it is true some of you could not really protect the gadgets well for us. But I know that going to the new season, you are better placed to handle the gadgets. And our FA is going to further invest in the communication gadget. <laughs> you can see clearly, our instructors are here. The new structure that we introduced locally here is helping all of you. It is true that it's brought more confidence in refereeing. It is true it's brought more confidence in appointment of referees, in your training, in the selection of referees. We've brought more confidence. People can disagree, but that is the truth. Because no single individual now determines the fate of a referee in this country. Is it not true? You may have challenges with the new structure, but we'll perfect the structure and ensure that it comes in to benefit refereeing in general in this country. We also rolled out this relationship with a transport company called STC. Most of you benefited from that. Is that not correct? Yes. We will work to improve on this. Because traveling is quite tedious in Ghana, very expensive, takes away the little that you earn at the end of the game. So our intention is to work towards improving that service to all of you. We have been discussing about getting insurance policy for referees in this country. Hold on to the club until I come here and officially announce it. <laughs> but inshallah, it will work. When I look around here, I feel not full. I feel there's something wrong. Where are female referees for the Premier League? Alex. Why don't we have female referees in the Premier League? In the men's Premier League? Why? We have to take practical steps to get good females to be part of this family here. In the time past, we've seen quality females officiating the top flights. In the world of football, female and FIFA are giving even more opportunities Try to encourage more female participation in the sports. And Ghana, being a key player in the industry, don't have females. All of you here should be worried. All of you here should not be happy about this. Please, Alex, let's take action. Alex Kote has been in the forefront of our desire to introduce VR in this country. <laughs> He's been through trainings, meetings, and I can assure you that we are on the right track. And soon, and soon, we should be able to be part of that first group of African countries to use VR. <laughs> At least in West Africa, eh? Refereeing is, is a science enterprise. And it behoves on all of us 
who want to rise up the ladder to be computer literate? Akwesi, it's not true. It's true. Minimum is that when you finish your game, you will send your report. Is that not correct? Yes. Okay. So it means learning how to use a computer is important in your careers. Please, let's pre place premium on this. I have heard that most of the materials our instructors use in teaching you are foreign materials from foreign leagues. Honestly, Alex, I hate to hear this. Our games are on TV. At least we have minim minimum four games on each match day. Maximum, we've had six games on each match day. We should be able to have enough teaching materials from the footages that we have in Ghana here. From henceforth, all your materials for your demonstrations and whatnot must come from our Premier League, the Women's Premier League. This is important for me. Because what you use to teach them here may not happen here. Pitches are different. Weather is different. Is that not true? <laughs> so let's be real. Let's be real. Like he said, we're moving away from just learning to and poor the laws of the game and being practical and knowing football. Well, the laws of the game, believe me, I can do to and poor. But in real time, I may not be able to get the offside. I may not be. So let's be very, very practical. Let's be very, very practical. Let's use materials from our leagues. And I'm saying we have a lot of footages. Gone were the days when our games were not on TV. Even Women's Premier League is streamed live in Ghana now. So we should have lots of materials. Akwesi and Kujo. Our football association launched what we call the Cardem Young refereeing policy. And I'm very proud about this. I'm very proud that we are created the environment for kids at a very, very young ages to develop the passion to be referees. This is very critical for our future. We don't want people to come into refereeing just because there's no other opportunity. They want to be referees. We want people to cultivate the habit of being referees right at a very young age. And in saying this, I want to thank you especially for leading the charge. I want to thank all the instructors, all the regional instructors for helping. And I want to thank those of you who have taken keen interest in the young boys and girls across all the regions. Because I know some of you take direct interest in the kids. And I can see it's unbelievable the kind of talents we currently have. Some of you have been watching some of the juvenile games and you see pure talents, referring talents. In December, we're going to host the U17 Club Champions League our own version, and all the games will be officiated by referees from the Cardem Young Refereeing Policy. <laughs> I would encourage you to continue to encourage them, to continue to train with them, to continue to give them the right levels of energy and support. And support. Because there's always a reward from the Almighty. There's always a reward. There's always a reward. If you mentor somebody and the person grows up to become a FIFA referee, you will take pride in it. Uh, 
let me wind down by saying that we have a new season just around the corner. A season that promises to be very interesting. A season that could be very, very challenging. A season that would bring in its wake everything about football. It is that season that each one of you has to rise up and be counted. It's a season that I expect all of you to give up your best. From the chairman here, to the chairman there, to the instructors, both technical and physical, this is the time for all of us to stand up and play our part. This session, um, I understand, comes to an end on Wednesday. God willing, on Wednesday, I'll be here. And I'll be here for a special reason. You want TNT? Go to that man there, Atifu. And, and his twin brother there. <laughs> God willing, on Wednesday I'll be here. But I'll not tell you why I'll be here. But I'll be here. <laughs> and I hope that the Almighty God will keep all of us alive. And I'm also grateful that throughout this pandemic, I've not heard any bad news involving any of our efforts. I stand to be corrected. We thank God. And I'm also happy that all of you are keeping the protocols. Because this virus is deadly. This virus is deadly. For support now, Mudamae. Mindanyeshi. For all the sacrifices, may the Almighty Allah bless all of you.